Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, three hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets in positive territory right now. S&P's up 16 points, trading at 3,036. NASDAQ right now positive by 78, trading at 83.21. Dow Jones up 74 points, trading 27,032. S&P all-time new highs to start off the trading week. Gold contract pulling back a bit, negative $10 on the dot right now at 1495.30. Oil negative territory as well, negative 84 cents at 5582. And notes and bonds, we're getting a little bit of higher yield and lower price. The 10-year up, excuse me, the 10-year negative 11 ticks, 129.05. The 30-year negative 30 ticks, 158.14. The dollar index negative 74 ticks at 97,757. We'll start things off. We'll stay on bonds. We'll start it off with the yield of that 10-year, 1.843%. Pretty remarkable, the run that we've had just since Friday. We were down there at about 1.74%, a tenth of a percent change from there. Jumping over to the indices, we'll start things off. We're off the highs of the day, as you will see. Dow 30, trading to higher territory right out of the gates, 945 this morning, 27,111. The futures, December futures now under 27,000, 26,985. NASDAQ 100, 8107, actually made it up to a high of 8119 within the last hour. S&P 500, there's your high right there. What time is it at? 10.30 a.m., 3,042 on the futures contract. Quite a number on the S&Ps, currently trading 3,036. Crude oil backing off a bit, making a high at about 9.35 a.m., right after the opening bell. Almost made it up to $97. You got crude, December contract, now under $56, trading at $55.95. There's your gold contract, backing off a bit early this morning, up there at about 15.10. On Friday, you actually made it to 15.20. The contract now trading 14.94. And the euro US dollar currently trading 110.98. In terms of other stocks you have out there moving, Tiffany's getting a buyout offer from Louis Vuitton, pulling up that stock, TIF. That number coming in at 14.5 billion. That would peg Tiffany's at, it will pull up. Come on, cool. There we go. That would peg Tiffany's at $120. So they're estimating that they're going to have to up that offer. Now trading at 129 and AT&T. We'll pull it up. We'll get there. AT&T, positive territory. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up with the Trader's Edge right now. We'll be right back.